Okay, so another little video on some retro computing. Uh, this is my uh, Toshiba Libretto 100. Um, I actually use it as my tuning laptop in my uh, Dakar off-road car because it runs Mega Squirt and I can have a serial port on it. Um, but it's probably getting quite uh, quite sought after now, so I've decided to pull it out of the car and uh, probably preserve it a little bit. <coughs> Um, it runs Windows 95, although I notice on the sticker it talks about Windows NT and Windows 98. So um, I, I'm not really sure why it's running Windows 95, that's how I received it. Um, I'm running it on, in a docking station. Um, it has got um, like a Zircon PCMTA card in here, but I lost the little dongle. Um, so I've just run it in a docking station with a serial lead into... Um, the multi mode M. I've got an old uh, US product sports to voice here as well, but um, I don't seem to have a power supply for it, so we'll stick with um, this one. So that was a cold boot, and um, people might recall that tune. So um, I've set up um, dial up internet on it. So you can see I've got my Mega, Mega Squirt um, software on here, but um, I just wanted to demonstrate a bit of dial-up internet, um, 90s style, so Internet Explorer 5.5. Um, it will come up, because um, I've been, I've already sort of tried this out, so it comes up with Google, but that's just what's cached. So if I type in, um, I know, Mez. It then wants to connect to the internet. So we'll go through the familiar. Familiar screeches for anyone a bit connecting. This is only a 28k modem, so Generally, the fastest dial up was um, 56k. This is a 33. I can't find any, um, can't find any 56k modems in my uh, box of bits and bobs. Um, so, Google seems to work quite well, which is probably one of the reasons why Google is so popular, or why I use it so much, is because it actually still works. Um, if I just try to go to my own website, um, which was designed, you know, I started my website back in 1997, so pretty much the same era that this thing came out. Um, and I thought it was fairly well optimised for low bandwidth. Um, but you'll see that it's painfully slow. And essentially all it's trying to do at the moment is just um, download the background graphic, which is a picture, picture of my car. Um, the menus come up fairly quickly. But um, it's still trying to download the background picture, which um, I'm going to have to have a look at it actually. It must be a massive picture. Um, but it just, you know, even my, my personal website that I consider to be quite a lightweight and thin site is um, painfully slow, rather embarrassingly. Um, I'm trying to think of like a page that's um, got very little on it, but I know that the um, let's look at my Cold War page. I know that all my pages have um, they've got a background of the picture of my car, and um, that's what's really hanging it up. So when everyone moans about the internet running slow or glitchy, they can just see how uh, how painful dial-up internet was. Um, it's basically unusable nowadays. Um, and a lot of websites I try to go to don't work because they all insist on HTTPS now. And um, this is just running old cryptos and things, just don't want to do anything. Um, it's still loading, which is really poor. I might, um, might have to look at my background get a JPEG image see what um, it's actually doing. Is that loaded? Just, just, hang on. 
There you go, it's still. <laughs> God almighty. It's still painfully and slowly loading up my um, background JPEG image. Um, which is pretty pathetic, really. Um, but Google works. Um, and that's probably why Google's always successful because they. They didn't bother, you know, with all the noise and rubbish and thousands of adverts all over it. You look how fast that comes up, um, you know, because it's, it's, it's tiny, it's totally optimised. Um, can't even think. Uh, so, you know, on a dial up connection there. Um, a lot of the sites I tried to go to don't work. I think it's because they're trying to go to HTTPS um, and it's just not supporting it. So, yeah, anyway, overall a fairly poor experience, but um, this is Windows 95, which um, let's disconnect because that's racking up my um, phone bill. So, when I disconnect here, you'll see that it'll be off hook OH, which is off hook. Um, that drops and then the phone line's available. So when you're dialed up onto the internet, this is using your telephone line. So um, no one can ring you up. But yeah, this is um, uh, Windows 95. Um, wasn't very reliable, but it wasn't a bad effort really. Um, did everything you wanted it to do and was sort of predecessor to everything we see nowadays. So. Let's shut down and uh, say goodbye. Bye bye, good night.